Hi there, this is Paul Murphy. Now in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can set up an auto webinar sequence using the just-in-time feature of Demio. Now, you can obviously have them register and turn up straight away for a live event, and that's all in built into Demio. But obviously, if you don't want to, um, you don't want it to come across, you want to come it, it to come across as a live event, you might want to have that a bit later in the day or tomorrow, or you might want to do that a couple of times a week or whatever, but you still may not want to be doing that hands-on, you may want to be doing Doing that as an auto webinar. Now, first and foremost, if you want to know how to create a just in time webinar, I've got another video up here. I'll put a link up here so you can go and quickly watch that first before you come back to this. But in this one, I'm going to show you how you can use that just in time webinar to create your uh, auto webinars uh, that are like live and you can actually set them up and sequence them however you want. Now, how we're going to do this is we're going to use our own landing page software. So some landing page software that I recommend are Fry Themes. I'll put a link down below and you can purchase that through my affiliate link if you want to. I do get a small commission. And also you could use ClickFunnels. I'll put a link down below, obviously. And again, I do get a small commission. Um, and there's, there's various others that you can use. I mean, they're the two that I use. Um, the cheaper option is Thrive Themes, but I'm gonna show you with ClickFunnels. It's, it's gonna be a fairly similar process because it's gonna be sort of, basically we're just gonna be ta um, tagging how we have a button react. So what I've got here is I've got one of their sort of in-house indoctrination series, is, which is the um, auto webinar registration. So. This button here is this this is set to on the hour. So if they come to this page, so you're sending traffic from your email list or from your advertising or from wherever you might be sending it, this could be set to wherever you want. Now in ClickFunnels, you can actually set this so that this can say whatever time you want. And I'm not going to do a ClickFunnels training, I'm just kind of showing you what's possible. Um, and there's plenty of training on YouTube, but you can actually check that out anyway. But basically, you can set this time to however you want. Um, in ClickFunnels. If you want to set it to on the hour, that's quite a good just-in-time feature. Whereas, you know, it makes it feel like, you know, oh, it's coming up in a quarter of an hour, that's really good, or half an hour. Um, that's absolutely fine. So what you would do here, so you would set this timer up to whenever you want this to be. And obviously, if you're having a, se a series, you can set that up as well. And what you can do is what I normally do is have the two-step opt-in. Now, what you don't want to do here is actually have them opting in to uh, Demio because when they've opted into Demio, they're going to go straight into the webinar, right? So that's you do not, you definitely do not want that because they're basically they're registering, registering, and they're in. So what I would recommend here is you would have this set up with your own autoresponder, and obviously you you know you're going to know how to integrate your landing page software with your autoresponder, so I won't go into that because people are going to be using different landing page software. Then you would have this click, either you would put the email in here or you'd have the two-step opt-in where it comes up and says enter your email address. And that's that's kind of how you would do it. And then obviously that would then tag them um, uh, and you could send out a, a sequence based on when that um, when that uh, webinar is. So say that, say for instance, it's Tuesday today and you wanted to register them for Thursday. Obviously you you can have them register, have a tag sent to your, um, have have, a ta have them tagged and put them into a sequence in your autoresponder. And then you can have, you know, all of your autoresponders sent out, um, you know, one day before, two days before, all that sort of good stuff. Um, so that's how you would do that, and then what you would have the, what you would have here is if this is going to be um, if this is going to be on the hour, for instance, you would then have a thank you page, and you'd have the countdown timer from the thank you page, and then what you would do this is how we would do this. So I'll just show you the thank you page uh, webinar countdown. Here we go. So if you guys want me to show you how to integrate this with ClickFunnels or um, with Fry Themes and actually do some demonstrations on that, I'm quite happy to show you. Um, it's pretty straightforward, really. But in the purpose of this video, obviously, I just wanted to show you how this is done. So obviously, you'd have this set to the date and time. You can also put your countdown timer again, like on the home page, if you wanted to have it as a just-in-time on the hour. Um, you can also do that. Now, with ClickFunnels, I know that you can do just-in-time on the hour. I, I'm not sure they do... 
uh, every 15 minutes. But again, I suppose what you could do is you could just set a timer to when they click on it, just have 15 minutes countdown, and then you can redirect them straight to the webinar, which is really good. So you could have that on this page. You could have you could put a timer on here for whatever time you want, and then when it's finished, it will just take them straight to the jump um, URL, which I'll show you in just a moment. So that's kind of how you would do that. And obviously, you know, there's lots of different ways to create funnels. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to go into that. But once you've done that, so let's say, for instance, you've got a countdown timer on here. You would then uh, go into ClickFunnels. You then tell it to, basically, when it's finished, you just say, go to URL. And you do that again with Five Themes. And then what would happen is you come into here, and here's your like live replay. And this, this button here, this is the registration button. So this is what will happen, is you can either have them go to here. Now, if they go to here they're actually going to have to register because this is a registration URL. But if you click on this preview button here, this will start them straight into the webinar. There we go. So as you can see, it does three, two, one and straight in. So obviously you could just use that jump URL, which you'll get from the preview. Um, and it will say in the top here, you know, jump and then etc. So that way you don't need to use any registration at all from Demio. You can just use it from your own autoresponder or from um, yeah, and from your own landing page. So you kind of don't need to use Demio apart from the fact that it's going to go three, two, one, and then they're live. So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if there's anything else I can I can add to that, guys. Just in case there's anything I didn't cover or anything that's not too that's um too confusing hopefully that's kind of fairly straightforward but if you do want to pick up um demio then obviously there's a two-week free trial in the description down below obviously i'll put I'll, I'll make sure i put links to click funnels and to fry themes and active campaign if you want an autoresponder as well i'll put them all in there um but please um make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel i'm always coming up with training i'm testing out new software click the bell if you want to be notified and then like and comment below and let me know if there's anything else you'd like. So that's it for today. I'll speak to you soon.